As you guys can see there, Little Chicago is a magical place. Yeah, it makes your property disappear! One of the more unfortunate aspects of the Safety Act is that it restricts police and property owners from doing much of anything to stop trespassers, which basically wrecks the idea of property rights in Illinois and other states that are adopting these kinds of laws. I sure am glad we live in real Florida, where a man's home is his castle and it's his right to defend it. Don't matter to me if it's on wheels or cinder box. It's a castle. Yep, property rights are insanely important, and that's one reason we moved here. With lower taxes, less regulation, and no lockdowns, Florida is a great place to own a home and start a business. What's well, not so bad in other states? We literally left the other states to be here. Yes, ma'am! Florida offers a great opportunity to start your life over. Like every time a hurricane blasts through my castle park. Florida man begins again. Well, it's a lot easier to start fresh when you have the fourth lowest taxes in the country. Who has the first lowest? Wyoming. Where are you at, Wyoming man? I'm coming for you! And according to CEOs, Florida is also the second best place for business, behind Texas. Oh, Texas man, you show yourself! Once I whoop Wyoming, you're going down! Oh, please. What do CEOs even know about business? Um, a lot? Now I'm a CEO myself! Florida Man Incorporated! Best handyman in the panhandle! This whole time, Florida Man, you've been an evil capitalist? Ron, stop! We need a handyman to help us back at our house. Little Chicago's inspired me to add a few locks to our doors. Fare thee well, Floridians. Do stop by again. Don't be shy. Not in Little Shy Town. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts and leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful, exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.